So we're going to answer this question. It's from uh, number 10 in 3.2, 3.3. And we need to take this graph and decide what equation this come from. And one of the most important parts are the intercepts. So I'm going to go ahead and label them right here. We got negative 4, negative 1, 1, and 3. And we'll write these over here. I'm going left to right, small to big. Now, we also have to pay attention to how they actually cut through the x-axis. So this is what I call a cross intercept. It goes from the top to the bottom, crosses over. Negative one's another cross intercept. Positive one's another cross intercept. However, three is a bounce. So that's a bounce. What that means is the multiplicity is even. And all the other three are cross. Uh, I said even, didn't write it. So the cross is the odd multiplicity. Now, we're going to choose the smallest odd number, the smallest even number. So smallest odd number is going to be 1. So these all have multiplicity 1. And these down here, even multiplicity, that's going to be multiplicity 2. There's going to be really only one exception on these problems, and I'll draw it out right here. It's not occurring in our graph, but if a cross intercept looks like it flattens out and then crosses, right here, that is a cross intercept, so it's odd. And because it flattens out, this would have multiplicity 3. That's not occurring on our graph here. That's going to be pretty rare, so most of the crossing are going to be multiplicity 1, bouncing multiplicity 2. All right, there's a big theorem that says all these intercepts correspond to factors. So we're going to go ahead and write this correspondence out right here. So we got intercepts and then factors. And the first one, a good way to think about this is what x value makes this 0. This needs to be made 0 when x is negative 4. So negative 4 plus 4 is 0. Next one, x plus 1, because when x is negative 1 and you plug it in, you get 0 here. Positive 1, these ones are a little easier to see. You've got x minus 1, because when x is 1, this is going to become 0. And our last is going to be x minus 3. Now we're going to look at the multiplicities. All these first three factors have multiplicity 1. The last one's got a multiplicity 2. All right, what do you do with factors? You multiply them together. So now we're going to do that. I'm intentionally leaving a little bit of space here. We'll see what's going on there at the end. We got x plus 4 to the first power, which I'm not writing. x plus 1, x minus 1, and x minus 3 squared. All right, these are all the factors that have a variable in them. There could also be a constant factor. I'm going to use letter A. Another good constant letter is C, but we're going to go with A here. All right, so how do we discover A? <clears throat> what we're going to do is look uh, at a point that's not on the x-axis. So just looking here, the only point I really see that's pretty clear is the one on the y-axis right there. So what does that mean? That means f of 0, because the x-coordinate is 0, is equal to the y-coordinate of 1. And that just came from the point 0, 1. And again, plug in 0 for x, you get 1 out for y. And now we're going to take that in and plug it in here. So take 0 and f it. And x appears 4 times, so I'm just going to drop 0 in. So we've got 0 plus 4 is 4. 0 plus 1 is 1. 0 minus 1 is minus 1. And 0 minus 3 is minus 3. We do need to square that. And the y value, so f of 0 equals 1. So that came from the y value. So we got 4, negative 1. So it's a times negative 4. That's the product of all those together. And negative 3 squared is positive 9. Uh, 4 times 9 is 36. So negative 36a equals 1. And we're going to get that a is negative 1 over 36. And once we have that number, we're just going to take it and substitute it in for a right there. And that's going to be our polynomial from the graph right here. 
Now, I recommend that you uh, also check the end behavior just to be safe. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and put in negative 136. So if you're on a quiz or a test, especially a test, you don't want to make this mistake. Um, and <clears throat> or you don't want to make a mistake. And if you check the end behavior and it matches, there's a really good chance that uh, you, what you have is correct. So end behavior, I'm going to write down the original and then we're going to basically cross out all the pluses and minuses that don't matter when X is really big or really small. So a good number to think about, X is really big. Just think about a million, a billion, a trillion. Those are big numbers. And if you had a million and you added four, it's not going to change it much. So what we're doing here is not algebra. So it would be incorrect to say that this is f of x because of what I'm about to do to this equation. So do not call this f of x. That plus 4 doesn't matter when x is huge. Plus 1 doesn't matter. Minus 1 doesn't matter. Minus 3 doesn't matter. Again, I'm not doing algebra here. So this is not f of x anymore. So I'm going to simplify this now. So now it's quite simple. x, 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 and then there's x squared. So it's x, 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 x squared. So it's total, there's five x's multiplied together, one, two, three, four, and five. Negative 136, x to the fifth. All right, so our end behavior is negative. You will never get a negative power or you don't have a polynomial. That's the uh, next chapter when we get into ra rational functions. So you're going to have negative coefficient right there and your odd power. So odd power, that means your end behavior won't match. It'll be up on one side, down on the other. And negative, the way I think about that, it means it looks like a decreasing function up on the left, down on the right. So now we're going to check our graph. Does it go up on the left, down on the right? Sure does. Up on the left, down on the right. Now another thing's happening right here. It's not really cut off. It just was too big for the original window. It's going to go down a little further and come back up. So I don't know why I can't connect that properly. So that's what the graph would look like if the window was a little bit larger. All right, so we got our function. This is our answer right here. And that's what you're going to type in.